Today we're going to talk about um, some long vowels and short vowel sounds. Um, we are on page 43 in the Super Kids Word Workbook. That does mean that we've skipped some. Ms. Jenkins and I are trying to go through and hit some of the parts that we find to be the most important. You are certainly welcome to go back and work on the contractions that we skipped, um, which were maybe page like 30... 36 through 41 or so. We are going to be doing page 42 tomorrow because we're still doing that story. So please don't do that one. But um, we think you know enough about contractions that you can work on that on your own time. We want to talk about these long vowel sounds. Um, I want to remind you that when a word has just one vowel at an end, the vowel is usually long. So that's going to be words like G-O, go, S-H-E, she, W-E, we, okay? Um, <clears throat> what we want to do now is we want to talk about how in words they're split apart by syllables. And we've talked about this before when we've done some clapping in class. So if we were doing the word syllable, I would clap three times. Syllable. So there are three syllables there, three different sections of the word um, that come together to make one word all together. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to talk about how these syllables can help us understand how to pronounce a word. I want you to look at page 43 and box number one right at the top. Um, look at that pink vowel. You see that pink vowel there? <clears throat> a single vowel can also stand for a long vowel sound in a longer word. So this is the word music. I think you probably knew that one. Music. I want you to trace. In fact, I can erase that. I want you to trace this long vowel sound right over the top. It's flat and straight across. When I make a flat, straight across line over a vowel, it reminds me that the vowel is long. That means that it's going to say its name. So, if I were to split this into two syllables, I have music. Music. And so I know that if I were to take this part off, I would have Mew. Mew is not a word, but it helps me to understand how to pronounce the word because I know the rules of the language. So, let me erase that part. So, I have the word music, and of course, which picture? Who is in it? Yes, it's tack. <clears throat> and so, I'm going to circle tack. So, I'm going to trace the straight line over the vowel and circle the picture that describes Let's look at number two. Number two, the word is spider. So here we go, we're tracing that straight line. Make sure it's not curvy because we're gonna have some curvy lines later. So straight line right across. Remember, if I were to split this word up, oh, that wasn't a good line, let's try that again. If I were to split this word up, I have spider, spider. This is a two syllable word, spider. So I can stop after that first vowel and think, oh, okay, let me try it out with a long vowel sound. It's not spider, it's spider. So I'm going to circle the spider. <clears throat> um, let's look at number three. Number three, the word is fever. Fever. I'm tracing the line. Oh, poor thing. He's sick. Next, the word is baby, baby. There's that ending Y, baby. The rest of the words I'm going to read, and then you're going to trace the word that belongs with it. Number five is pony, pony. Number six is robot, robot. Number seven, zebra. Make sure you're tracing the blue line. Number eight, student. And number nine, pie.
pilot. Pilot. Now we're going to go on to the next page. Page 44. <clears throat> and I want us to look at the words at the top with the pink letters. So now we know that for these words, it's actually starting with the vowel. But I know that if I split it up, this half has a vowel, O, and this half has a vowel, E. So I know those are my two syllables. So my word is O pen, paper, even, silent. Okay, those are my four words here. So let's look at the pictures and we'll do number one together. Oh, let's see here. Is that tick or talk? I don't remember. I'm going to say tick. Yes. Um, what is tick doing to the very top of her sand castle? She's, it says she's, or she will make the top flat. And so here's our word. E V E N. Even. Make the top flat and even. <clears throat> when you're finished, you can mark off the word from the top. And then I want you to do the last three on your own. You're choosing words from the top. Um, <clears throat> the spelling words this week include memory words. These memory words are there. That means the kind that belongs to. If I say, oh, that's their house. We have now. Always. Always is a good word to remember for spelling because it says all in it, but there is only one L. The word because, it's very important this week. We're going to do some writing that includes the word because, so it's important that we know how to spell it. Let's spell it together. B-E-C-A-U-S-E. -E. Okay? The A and the U are together, but they're not they're not going to say the A sound because this is a sight word and it doesn't follow the rules, okay? Because, <clears throat> oops, sorry. And then our last word is been. Have you been to the store? We don't say been, even though it looks like it would be two vowels go walking. That's why these are memory words <clears throat> because they don't follow the rules, okay? Excuse me. <clears throat> now... I also want to talk about, let me see if I can find the back pages on here. Mm -hmm. The backpack page. Oh, I have to open it separately. Oh, no, this is for, sorry, that's the wrong one. That's why I was going to wait. Let me try it this way. So we're trying to combine some things together. I think I can do it this way. Materials. This way I can show you exactly what it is we need to do. More. Okay. So. Oh, wait, I saw it. It said I could see all of them together. Let's do it like that. So what you're going to do um, this week is you're going to start on page 17, which is the story. It's important that you read that story aloud, and at the end of the week, we may ask um, to get a video of you reading this aloud. So we're going to read, It's So Hot Today, You Should Practice Reading It Out Loud to a Grown-Up, okay? Don't forget, it says, by practicing a few times a week, <clears throat> you should be able to read more smoothly with fewer mistakes. This is something you should practice reading every day. Then today, you're also going to do page 18. These are the contractions. We haven't worked on them um, in person, but I want to talk about them so that you know exactly what you're doing today. So we have the words. Here we go. I'm, I'll, he's, oh, let me go back. Let's do it like this. I'm, he's, she's, your we're, that's we are and you are, I'll, he'll, she'll, and you'll, that's I will, he will, 
she will, and you will, and it's. We use it's, I-T apostrophe S, when we're talking about the two words together, it is. It is. 